Hey everyone and welcome to another Zero tutorial. Today I'm going to take you through an important one um, on how to reconcile bank accounts using bank feeds in Zero. My name is Samuel Bermeister and I'm the owner here at Toll Books. So to get started, I'll show you the easiest way to get into reconciliation in Zero. So from our main dashboard here as usual, on the left hand side you can see the bank accounts you've set up. So in this case, we've got the business bank account. It has 50 items needing to be reconciled. You get the balance in zero currently based on what you've reconciled and the last statement balance sent through from the bank on the 23rd of July. I would stress that it's always important to reconcile to the actual bank statement, even if you only do it every second or third time you reconcile the bank account, it's a good way to quality check and ensure that no phantom transactions have come through in zero or duplicates. If you've reconciled a bank account, it will look like this one here. As you can see the last time it was reconciled, it matches this balance here. The other way you can get to this screen um, that's quite popular under accounts and bank accounts this will give you the drop down for each and once again you can hit reconcile and it will bring you into the screen so let's go in and have a look so i'm just going to click on reconcile now zero's reconciliation screen is quite similar to qbo and myob um, left hand side is the bank statement transactions and the right hand side is what we're matching it with or creating in zero. So once again, left hand side is from the bank. So generally speaking, this is accurate and we don't touch it. Uh, the right hand side is the transactions in zero, either something we're matching to we've already created, or we're going to go in and create a transaction to match the bank account. Perfect. So let's go through a few options you get in zero to do so. So along the right hand side here, you can see we've got match, create, transfer and discuss. So the first one we're going to look at is of course match. Now a good example here, on the 24th of April, we've got a Qantas transaction here for $218.90. You can see it's under the spent column. And over here, we have $218.90 spent from the bank account, the reference being Qantas Australia. So pretty safely, we can assume, OK, this is correct. Clicking OK will then reconcile that transaction. So as simple as that, if there's a match in the system, it will find it for you and it will recommend it. Now let's find another example here. In some cases, you'll have more than one match for the same amount. So you then just have to use basically common sense and a bit of research to make sure that you've selected the right one. So for example, here, I've got a Melrose Parking Services Limited transaction, 148.50 has been spent and the transaction it's matching it to is for Melrose Parking, it is for 148.50. However, it's on the 23rd of April that it's been entered in for, and the transaction in the bank is a bit later on the 1st of May. So just to double check, I can click on one other match possible found here, and it will bring up the other option. So I've got 24th of May or 23rd of April. So in this case, from our check, we can say, yeah, the 23rd of April is correct as the second transaction was entered for the following month, most likely after the fact. So if I click OK, once again, that will reconcile the transaction. Now, you're probably wondering, what do I do if I accidentally reconcile a transaction? Very simple. Up the top here, you can click on account transactions. And you can do a search for any transaction here. So first thing you want to do is look at the reconciled accounts and go, okay, here we go. There's the one for Melrose Parking. 
If you made a mistake, you can click on that transaction and click remove and redo. What that will do is unreconcile the transaction and leave you with the bank statement line you had on the left hand side. So you'll need to redo the right hand side. Another way you can find transactions is with the search here. Entering the description or contact name, you can enter an exact amount to look for. So with our Melrose, we had 148.50. So if I do a search for it that way, it's going to bring it up for me, as you can see here. And you can view the status. So let's go back to the reconciliation screen here on the top left. We've now got 48 to reconcile as we've got two of them done now. The next step is create. It's a very simple one. This is very common when you have transactions you need to deal with on the spot. Perhaps um, you don't have it in the bank account already. Create will organize a spend money if the amount is a withdrawal. If it's a deposit under the received column here and you do a create, then it will create a receive money. So generally speaking, if the transaction has an invoice, um, like a proper bill from a supplier or you've invoiced a client with all the detail, you would enter that in in zero first. So you could then match it here. If it's a simple transaction that um, you haven't set up something for and it might just be a quick withdrawal or deposit, feel free to use the create tab to use a spend money or a receive money. So for this one here, the who is the supplier or customer. So um, NAB, you can see we've already got them here in the system. What account? Well, that's um, dependent on the transaction. So we can see here it's a bank fee. So let's have a look for bank fees. Yeah, we've got one. And why we can just say bank fee. Now, the next thing you do is check the GST code. It's defaulting to GST free. In this case, being a bank fee, we're going to put that to input tax. Once that's done, I simply click OK and we've reconciled that transaction. You'll see now we have 47 up here on the top left. OK, so the next one is transfer. It's pretty straightforward. Transfer you'd only use if it's an internal transfer from one bank account to another. So you can see here, I had a few bank accounts in this demo file. I've got a credit card, another one under my name and the main business uh, and the business savings account, along with the one I'm using right now, which is the business bank account. So let's say this 125.90 was a transfer to another bank account. I can go to the transfer tab, drop that down and select the account. That will create a bank transfer once I hit OK for that date. And in the other bank account, it will have created a transfer of money being received for that date. So that way you can then just match the transfer when it comes up. And so that's the transfer. It's for internal transfers between business bank accounts, credit cards, etc. Very easy to use. The next tab we want to have a look at is discuss. This is really handy and important to be across. So make sure you pay attention here. So let's go down to a transaction. Let's just say we have no idea what Brunswick Pedals is. Um, we click on the discuss tab and I could write, um, please provide receipt slash invoice. Now, once I've typed that in, I can hit save here on the left hand side, or I can hit control S and it will save that for me. What that means is when someone else comes into this screen, so let's go from the main screen again, hit reconcile. When they go down to that transaction, they will see it under the Discuss tab there. And they can use that to give you information and type um, gift for client. Okay, and this video will be continued in part two.